Hi! Before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you ShiftSync to be the main sponsor of today's video. Are you tired of feeling isolated in your work as a tester, developer or DevOps specialist? You want to be part of a community that is passionate about innovation, collaboration and cutting-edge technology? Look no further than ShiftSync. Follow the link in the video description and sign up for free and start the exchange with like-minded people. The goal of ShiftSync is to create a dynamic, engaged space for developers, testers and industry leaders to share knowledge and grow professionally. Quality is more than testing and such sharing with collaboration will help improve the software development lifecycle on every stage, from a security, code writing, defining requirements, accelerating performance and setting up a high function developing team. ShiftSync is a community for everyone and anyone who is interested in all aspects of quality engineering from left to right across the, across the software development spectrum. Engaging and relevant for users, practitioners, testers, manual or being automated, developers, no matter if it's web applications, mobile applications or DevOps Defro specialists, software admins and the like. It shares relevant context such as blog posts, discussions, roundtable discussions and webinars. So make sure to sign up using the link in the video description and to start your community collaboration today. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Software Testing. My name is Dr. Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here today. Today's video is actually a good and a bad one because I would like to talk about where to find software testing jobs. Because you may have heard the news or may you, you have been affected by the recent layoffs that happened in 2023 so far. So and it's something that have we haven't seen in the tech industry for years um, for now. So we have seen many, many layoffs across the board from engineers to software testers, designer, product managers, and from small companies to bigger companies. And as I said, across all industries. And I am, in case you are affected, I'm, I'm really sorry. And um, I also got contacted by many of you who got laid off lately in the, in the year 2023. And many of you asked me like, hey, Daniel, you have such a great um, um, connection to the software testing community. Can you help me find a new job? And of course, I tried my very best. You know, I, I, I shared my, my local contacts with, with the people who are affected. Uh, I shared with them like potential companies that I know that are looking for uh, quality engineers or testing engineers or um, software developers. So I, I love to help you guys out and girls out, of course, in order to um, yeah, find your new testing job or another testing job. And in case you are not affected by layoffs, that, that's something good. Nevertheless, um, maybe you can find some useful insights in today's video because I would like to talk about websites, communities where you can find a new job for a testing, uh, testing professional. So let's take a look. Let's take a first look at the Ministry of Testing community. So for, for those of you who don't know, and I hope you are aware of Ministry of Testing, uh, the club. So basically in the club, there is a section called uh, career moves and there you can find all kinds of information like okay where where are the best places to find my uh, first QA position so you can ask for help in how to get like to get like full stack software test engineer and so forth and so forth and you can also find job opportunities in Cambridge in this example for example or you can write a post saying hey I got I'm affected by a layoff this is my profile some my social links that's what i'm looking for that's the position i'm aiming for and so forth and so forth and the community is there for you to help out and the club of the ministry of testing is something that you can uh, actively post something and ask questions and get help and get support um, on the other side um, also something that i really like is the job board from the ministry of testing and this is the ministry of testing.com slash jobs as always Take a look at the video description. I'll add all the links down there for you to follow up and to, to save to bookmark them for you to go. And as you can see here on the jobs board, um, you can find uh, at the moment six um, testing positions. So based off May, so I created a video at the beginning of May. So there's one position saying, okay, there's a team lead quality assurance. There's an Azure test automation engineer and so forth and so forth. And so you can just say, okay, let's, let's click this one, head of cloud quality. You click there, you get some information about the company, who posted that job. You see 
um, your task, um, what we appreciate and so forth and so forth. And I think if you hit apply now, yes, you go directly to that uh, job page of that particular company and you can apply for it. That's great. So that's really cool. So um, the third place where, uh, where you can take a look at and to find potential jobs is a Telegram channel. Um, I wasn't also aware of that one and I found it somewhere online, that Telegram channel in the community. And of course, I, uh, I participated in there. And as you can see here, we have lots and lots of uh, different channels. So all the specific testing challenges that we have. So we have performance testing, automation, share your creation, general, API, security API, blah, blah, and so forth and so forth. And you can also ask for jobs or you can take a look for job postings here. So if you're not at the test chat, the, um, the Telegram channel for software testers, follow the link, uh, the link below to, to sign up for it and to help each other out in case you have a job to offer or you seek a job. Um, the fourth um, potential place to look for a job are Slack channels. Yes, there are plenty of Slack channels from the testing communities and also from companies. And um, before there was also the Ministry of Testing Slack channel, but they closed it and they moved everything to, to their um, Ministry of Testing Club section for you to follow up on. But there is another one I can only recommend, and that's the one from the Azure Testing Days uh, creator called Azure Testing or AzureTDZone.slack.com. And I open up Slack for a second, and here you can see we have different channels, of course, and you have also a section for job postings. So in case somebody has a job, this person is going to post it here, share it with it, and you can also take a look on the potential job offers, ask directly people like, hey, what do you have in mind with that position? Or what do you know about the role, the team and so forth and so forth? Because I think that's a really cool thing to ask right away because usually people posting jobs here, they are um, also like affected or like part of the team that um, or the company that they are looking for that position and potential new colleague. So that's great. So in case you are not there yet, make sure to, to also come and join the Azure TDD zone for like for job postings. And the fifth place, I think, I think it's the most obvious one, is to look on social networks like LinkedIn or Twitter. So for example, if you go to LinkedIn and go to the job section, sorry, it's in German now, I, I forgot to switch it to the English layout, but uh, as it says here, it's like um, recommended for you. So I get some recommendations, some job recommendations that fit my profile. So in case you have no updated LinkedIn profile, that's the first thing you should do. Update your profile with the latest positions that you worked with, uh, what are your skills, what are you looking for? And based on that input, the LinkedIn recommender will learn from it and will suggest you some potential uh, jobs. And yeah, there is like a couple of recommended one. And of course, there's also more to follow, or you can also search for a job hosting over here. So let's say mobile testing in Germany, you hit it, you, you find some results. You can see like maybe you know some contacts working in that company and you have like already di direct connection. So that's something that I can only recommend. Um, as I already said, Twitter is also a place to, to look out for in case there are some um, job postings available. So if you search, for example, the hashtag software testing, you may find some people uh, posting something there. This is this is a bit harder to, to find out because Twitter is lately a bit weird. And also from the from the algorithm point of view, how you, you see postings has changed a lot. And um, so that's, that's, but anyways, it's still one possibility to, to look for a new job or you, you ask like, you ask for like, hey, you, I'm looking for a new job, change your bio, for example, I'm looking for a job and so forth and so forth. And then you maybe get response from somebody who is watching that hashtag and is consuming it and reading it and has a job to offer. And also what I forgot to mention is uh, on LinkedIn, if you go to your profile, you can also say, hey, I am open for a new position. I think it's somewhere in the profile open for or something like that. And then you can say, okay, I'm, I'm looking for a job. And then you get, get some, some badge around your profile picture indicating that you are actively looking for a job. So that's something that I would love for you to do. And then last but not least, um, of course, you should also use local 
um, search engines or job posting um, web applications where you can find specific uh, job, uh, job testing positions. So for example, I think internationally it's Indeed, Indeed.com, try it out and, and search for them, search for, for software testing jobs, um, create a newsletter and something like that to get the latest updates uh, over there too. And or also in case you have something similar, I just found out this one, it's called germantechjobs.com, uh, .de. And this is like a local, a local project and you can see there's a map of Germany and there you can see some pinpoints where companies are looking for software testers. And you can also, and this is also a great page in case you're working in Germany and you have some other technologies that you would like to work or to check with. You can also filter it here, say, okay, I'm looking for mobile. Then you get some, some Android developer positions or iOS developer positions, or you have some knowledge in, I don't know, uh, Java. You, you can get all the Java um, positions over here as well listed. So maybe around your uh, local um, community, there are projects like that as well. So in case so, um, go ahead and, and search for them as well. It's just, it's another edition where you can find, uh, or position where you can find and look for a job. Yeah, so there's a lot of potential out there. And last but not least, maybe I already mentioned it, is if you have a good connection to the software testing community and you know people, send them an email and say, hey, look, I'm looking for a new job, I'm laid off, or I'm, I want to switch my career, would like to do something more, something different, I would like to take the next step, but I'm stuck in my current role. And send this person this information if you, when you know that this person is well connected in the industry, and I bet that he or she, he will help or she will help you to maybe get some connection, get an introduction to a company, to a person, to a hiring manager, to a specific recruiter and so forth and so forth. And and also like this is maybe my, from my point of view, it's an obvious um, recommendation, but in case you're not looking for a new job and you would like to establish a social network, try to be active on those platforms and also send messages to people in case they have birthday. Say, hey, happy birthday to you. It's your special day today. I'm happy to, to read from you or from time to time, send your former coworkers a message. Hey, how are you doing? And these kind of topics, you know, to stay relevant for them, to, to have them in mind and also to, to see what they are looking for or like potentially going forward to in a new company. And this might help you out in, in terms of getting a new job and in case it doesn't need to be like right away but maybe in a couple of months or years you can find a new job opportunity because you had a conversation with someone um, the years before or the days or the month before yeah so I hope this helps you a lot um, in case you were affected by the layoffs I'm, I'm really sorry for that one um, make sure to follow the video description for all the links and what is also cool for, for us as a community, but also for, for you or for others, uh, in case you know other job sites, uh, channels, communities, where you can find job postings, leave it in the comment section or send me a message and I will update everything in the video description for others to follow up and yeah to help each other out in finding a new role. And with that, as always, leave a thumbs up, leave a subscription to support me. Thank you and goodbye.